Hey guys, so for today's video, we are doing seven looks with the BH Cosmetics Mimosa Palette. So the look I have on right now is actually look number seven, so that'll be the last one in this video. But I have had this palette for almost a year now, and I feel like I still, up until this video, <laughs> didn't really get to know it too well. I used it you know, a good handful of times, but I just still kind of felt like I wanted to devote some time to really understanding this palette. So that is what this week of looks is all about. So if you have this palette and you're looking for some inspiration, some looks that you could create with it, hopefully this video can give you some ideas. And if not, maybe it can help you decide if this is a palette you would like to add to your collection or not. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the seven looks with this cute little palette. Okay, so for day one, I wanted to show just a very simple, more neutral look that you can do with this palette. I know at first glance it looks like a very colorful palette, but it does have a good handful of more neutral shades that you can use if you want to get more of a neutral look with the palette. So I'm going to start out today's look with the shade We Heart Brunch. This is a nice matte, light neutral tan color, and this I am just going to apply all throughout the crease with a fluffy crease brush. This is the BK Beauty 201 brush. So next I'm gonna go into the shade Happy Hour here, which is another matte, kind of deeper, more rusty brown. And I am just going to build that up in my outer corner, especially focusing it towards my upper lash line. Now that I have that laid down, I'm going back to my fluffier brush and just kind of blending those two shades together. Next, we're going to go into this beautiful shimmer shade down here called Bubbly, and I'm just going to pat this on my lid with a finger, and this is going to be our lid shade. This shade is a little bit chunky, so I'm just kind of slowly building it up and just patting it on there. Going back to my fluffy brush, blending a little bit more. Then on a smudge brush, this is the BK Beauty 204. I'm going to take a little bit more of We Heart Brunch and use that to define my lower lash line just a little bit. I am going to use some of Chilled to highlight the brow bone. I've actually never done this before that I can remember, so I kind of just want to see what happens. Nice. Kind of just brightened up the area. I do think this look calls for a brown winged liner, so I'm going to use my Flower Beauty Forever Wear Winged Liner in the shade Dark and Stormy. Okay, so I finished off the eye look with a coat of mascara on just the top lashes. I decided not to put any on the bottom lashes this time. And then my lip color is a combo of the Koki Lip Liner in Warm Nude and the BK Beauty Lipstick in Kindness. And then I applied some of the Koki Soft Gradient Blush in Bellissima to my cheeks. Nice peachy red blush. And that is look number one. So I want to start out today's look with the shade Saluti down here. This is this cooler, kind of lilac-y pink. I'm going to pick that up on a fluffy crease brush, the BK Beauty 201, and that is going to go in my crease. I'm just going to kind of buff that all throughout the crease from the inner to the outer portion. So then I'm going to go up to Raspberry here, and I'm going to target that in my outer corner. Then I'm just going back to that fluffy brush and blending. And then I'm going to take some of Fizzy here on a finger, this shimmery pink color, and that is going to be my lid shade today. For the inner corner, I'm going to take Bubbly, this light kind of champagne shimmer, on a little pencil brush. This is the Sigma Beauty E30. And just kind of tap that in the inner corner. And I'm also going to take that up a little bit into the inner crease, just to kind of open up my eye a little bit. Okay, so going through a very monochromatic look today. On the lips and cheeks, I'm wearing the new Aether Beauty Lip Oil Stain in the shade Influence. 
really liking these so far. And I went ahead and powdered the rest of my face. So now I'm gonna apply some black pencil liner to my upper lash line. This is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist 24 Hour Coal Eyeliner in black. And this I'm just going to kind of draw across those upper lashes. And then I'm taking an angled brush and doing a really soft wing with that. All right, so I finished off with some mascara on the top and bottom lashes, and that is my monochromatic pink look for look number two. Okay, so look number three is gonna be really simple, but one of my favorite subtly powerful looks. It's really just gonna be one shade, and it's the shade Pomegranate. And I'm gonna use this shade to create a winged liner. This is, it's kind of like a reddish watermelon pink. So I'm just going in with an angled liner brush. This is the BK Beauty 208. And for this, I like to start out in the outer corner of my eye. I, I make the wing first, kind of following the shape of my eye. If my lower lash line were to just continue outward, that's kind of the shape that I follow. So just kind of start with the line like that. And then I'll kind of connect it down this way. I yeah, almost made a little triangle there. And then I fill that in. And I usually like to stop kind of right in the middle of my eye where my pupil is. That's where I want the color to stop. I just find that that helps to keep my eyes more open. And then once I have both of my kind of rough drafts done <laughs> on each eye, I'll compare them and see if I need to add to either side to make it more symmetrical. I think they're pretty symmetrical. This, I don't love how this one turned out. So that is pretty much the finished look for today. You can just leave it at that if you want to. I'm gonna take a little bit of champagne, this light peach color here, and pop a little of that into my inner corner. And I don't mind a little of that getting into like the inner part of my lid as well. You know what, I'm actually gonna pick up a little bit more of that champagne color on my finger and just tap it kind of on the inner third of my lid. I'm kind of wanting just a little bit more shine here. All right, and that is look number three. I love how simple this is, but it still just makes such a statement. And of course it goes without saying, but you could do the same winged look with a lot of the colors in this palette. On the lips today, I'm wearing the other shade of the Aether lip oil stain that they sent over. This is the shade Wisdom. It's a little bit more of a reddish color than the one I wore yesterday, which was Influence. Really enjoying these, by the way. Very comfortable, easy formula to work with. And the blush I'm wearing today, if you're curious, is the Milani Cheek Kiss Cream Blush in Nude Kiss. If I look awfully similar to the way that I looked in look number three, it is because it's the same day. I just um, did my best to remove my eye makeup without disturbing the rest of my face makeup. So I really want this look to be just colorful and fun and juicy. I want to take advantage of as many colors as we can. So yellow, orange, pink, peach. We're just going to have fun with this look. So I'm going to start out with the lightest matte pink option in here called Bottomless. It actually has a it's more of a satin finish, but I think it's gonna perform like a matte. And this is going to be our crease color. I'm mainly focusing the shade in the outer half of my crease. So next I'm gonna go into OJ, the orange, with the same brush and focus that kind of in the inner part of my crease. And I am gonna over that, overlap that a little bit with bottomless kind of getting all my mattes laid down first and then we'll pick a shimmer. But I'm gonna go in with Sunny now, this matte yellow, and that is going to be my inner corner pop. And I am going to just kind of bring that into the inner corner of my lid as well. Back to my crease brush, I'm just going to blend those colors into each other. So then I'm gonna go into Guava, which is a nice like matte bright coral. That I am going to pack into the outer corner. Mm -hmm. 
So for my lid, for my shimmer shade, I'm going to go into the shade Pop here. This has a bright pink base and then a yellowy gold flip, so I think it'll tie this look together really nicely with the kind of pink and yellow elements both in there. See that? Pretty. So that I am going to basically tap on this part of my lid that doesn't yet have anything on it. And I don't mind letting some of that shimmer kind of migrate into the crease. I don't mind letting that overlap with the orange or anything. And I'm even going to bring that and overlap it with the yellow as well. I am going to take my NYX Epic Wear Liner Stick in Orange Zest and pop a little of this in my inner or my lower waterline. I just think this is the perfect opportunity to use this. And if you don't have an orange pencil liner, you could also just smudge some of OJ onto the lower lash line too, or just skip that step entirely. Loving this look. On the lips, I ended up using the BK Beauty Lipstick in Kindness, which is just a nice peachy nude color. Really like how that goes with the eye look. And the blush I have on, of course, is the same one I had on for look number three, the Milani Cheek Kiss Cream Blush in Nude Kiss. And that is look number four. I really like this one. Okay, so I believe this is look number five. So I just had the urge to do kind of like an orange creamsicle look. We'll see how it goes, but I'm thinking a halo eye with OJ being the matte shade on the inner and outer corners. I'm not sure, I went with a very summery face look today. I'm wearing my Koki Bellissimo blush, which is the one that gives you that perfect kind of sun-kissed reddish color on the cheeks, and a very golden highlight. That's the Aether highlight in Pink Diamond Dust. So I went kind of heavy with both intentionally because I just wanted like a very sun-drenched look. So I'm gonna first just dip into OJ here and start building that up on my inner and outer corners. And I don't necessarily want this to be really intense. Like I kind of want sort of a soft wash, almost like a watercolor orange look. So I'm not gonna be packing it on too heavily. I just kind of packed it on and now I am sort of dragging my brush back and forth to blend it. Do the same on the other outer corner. I'm so impressed by both the mattes and the shimmers in this palette, honestly. I don't get any skipping or any patchiness with these mattes, which sometimes I have that problem with high-end shadows, so it's just nice that they just work like they're supposed to. I'm gonna go in with that same shade and do the same thing with the inner corner. And I'm just leaving a space blank in the center of my lid, essentially. And I am connecting it in the middle. So then for the center of the lid, you know what, I'm gonna go all in and use my NYX glitter primer here just to really make this shade pop. So I just take a very small dab of that and then that might have even been too much. Just take some off on the back of my hand and then just tap that on the center of the lid where I'm gonna be applying my shimmer. And what that does is it creates a tacky base for the shimmer to really cling to and it helps it shine. So I'm just gonna take my pinky and tap that pretty precisely onto the center of my lid. And then I'm just gonna use my finger to gently sort of blend that out so that it fades evenly into the orange. You just can't beat using your fingers to apply shimmers like this. Like it just, to me, it, it works so much better than a brush always. That is cute. Oh, wow. And I think this look, my one gripe with this palette is that it doesn't have a lot of oranges and it's called mimosa and mimosas are usually made with orange juice. So I would have loved to see just a few more oranges, maybe in place of some of these corals and pinks because there are a lot of corals and pinks none of them are exact duplicates of one another but they do there some of them are similar enough that i feel like maybe one or two of them could have been swapped out with with another orange or peach kind of color but 
but I still love this palette in spite of its shortcomings. I am going to take some of the white shade called Chilled and pop that in my inner corner. You might think, what, a matte white? That's kind of weird, but it can be very brightening for the inner corner without looking as weird as you might think. Doesn't that really brighten up the inner corner quite nicely? Like, this is with, this is without? I really like that. I like that so much that I'm also going to take just a little bit of that chilled, that matte white shade again and highlight my brow bone just a little bit too. And I'm using a fluffier brush here so it's shearing out the white a little bit more and just making it even more subtle than the inner corner. At first when I got this palette I thought, eh, like, why did they put a matte white in here? That seems kind of random, like I'm never going to use that. But I'm glad I gave it a try and gave it a chance because I really like that on the inner corner. Once again, I just can't help myself. It's the perfect palette to be using this liner with. I'm going to take my NYX Epic Wear Liner Stick in Orange Zest. I'm just going to kind of smudge this along the lower lash line. I'm not going to put it in my waterline like I did in the last look. I do just want to smudge this across. I'm going to take my BK Beauty 204. It's a smudge brush and just use that to gently smudge it out so that it's a little softer. So I'm thinking the e.l.f. Hydrating Core Lip Shine in Cheery is gonna be a good lip option. Let's go ahead and apply that. Actually, you know what? I like that lip color a lot, but I kind of feel like it's too close in depth to the eye shadows that I use, so I think I'm actually gonna do Bite Stinger. Yep, that was the right choice. I love the way that contrasts with the orange. I think that is so fun. Okay, so that is look number five. I have to say, this is my favorite look so far. I just love that combination of the orange and the coral together. This is kind of just the vibe that pops into my head when I think of this mimosa palette, even though I only used, well, three, but really two colors. I, I just love this. So that is look number five. Okay, so for look number six, I mainly want to feature the yellow in here because I just think that is such a cute color. I'm going to apply Sunny just all over my lid and up into the crease, almost treating it like a one shadow look. It's not going to be the only shadow I use, but I am just going to put it all over. And if you notice, my eye area is super dry. I am going to take a break from wearing eyeshadow after today, after this look and the next look because... Um, I, I, I just, my eyes are so dry right now. I think it must have to do with the change in weather. If you notice things looking a little bit kind of patchy there in the inner third of my lid, it's because of the dryness. It's not the eyeshadow's fault. And so once I have that laid down all over the lid, I am then just using that brush, kind of turning it on its side and using that to blend the edges. I really love this brush. It's a great multi-purpose brush. Okay, so then we're gonna take the shade Champagne, that light peachy golden color, and I'm just gonna apply that all over kind of the inner half of my lid. But I wanted the yellow to serve as a base for this shade. Wow, this shade actually looks totally different over a yellow, I'm realizing. Like, it really brings out a lot of yellow in Champagne, and to me in the pan that looks more peachy, but it does have kind of a yellow golden flip, and layering it over a yellow really brings that out. So, wow, cool discovery. I'm kind of, well, I guess I'm kind of putting that on the inner two-thirds of my eye and just kind of leaving that outer third without any shimmer. I'm using that same brush again to just kind of scatter that shimmer up into like up to my brow bone. I don't mind it going all the way up there. Not picking up any additional product or anything, just using this brush to blend the shimmer. I'm gonna take my pinky and tap a little bit more of that just right in the inner corner to really get that looking nice and highlighted. Okay, so for eyeliner, I'm actually gonna do a black winged liner. I'm gonna use my Essence 24 Ever Ink Liner. I actually don't recommend this. I don't love this liner, but uh, it gets the job done. Just, just know that I'm not really recommending it. I'm just using it because it's what I have. Um, and I'm gonna do a little wing with this. Exhibit A as to why I don't like this eyeliner. I feel like my wings turn out very bumpy and uneven, but I'm just gonna leave them because I don't wanna make them worse and worse the more I mess with them. I kinda wanna try it with the Urban Decay Vice lipstick in Art Walk. Okay, I'm actually really loving this pink and yellow combo. 
really fun. It's reminding me of something. I can't quite figure out what it is, but just with the finishing touches on this look, I'm gonna take some of Chills, the white here, and apply that to my brow bone. Okay, well this might be one of my top favorite looks also. I said yesterday was my favorite, but this one might be my second favorite. I'm loving this one. So that is look number six. Okay, so we are on the seventh and final look today. This look, I actually asked Nathan to pick which shades he wanted me to use, and he has like a whole look planned out for us. So he said that he wanted me to apply sunny OJ and pomegranate kind of fading into each other on my lid like a sunset, and then overlap champagne over the yellow and orange and pop over pomegranate. So I thought that sounded like a great idea. I do want to make a point to use every shade in this palette and there are two shades that I haven't yet used, Vibes and Cheers. So I'm going to try to incorporate both of those today as well. So I am going to use Vibes as my crease color, at least for the outer part of my crease. I think that pomegranate will fade nicely into that. I'm just going to kind of start with that in the outer third of my crease. Ooh, I like how almost neon that shade goes on. And then I'm just dragging any excess of that color into the center of the crease as well, just to create like a soft transition color. So next for the kind of sunset gradient that we're going for, I'm going to start with the deeper of three shades, pomegranate. That is that kind of reddish watermelon color. And just building that up in the outer corner of the eye. Going back in with my crease brush and just blending the edges of that. All right, then on my BK Beauty 203 brush, I'm gonna pick up OJ and this is gonna be on the middle of the lid. I'm just packing that in the center of the lid. And overlapping the edge of that with pomegranate so that it looks blended. Ooh, those two shades blend really nicely together. It creates like a really pretty coral. Then I'm gonna take Sunny on my BK Beauty 206, just using different brushes so I don't get too much of the previous shade mixed in, and then packing that on the inner third of my lid. And once again, overlapping it a bit with the orange to create a nice fade. And then he wanted me to layer pop and champagne over those shades. I'm also gonna use Cheers just for the sake of using that shade. That's a little bit more peachy than pop. So I think Cheers, which is what I have on this finger, is gonna go in the center of the lid and pop is gonna go, the shade is gonna go in the outer third of the lid overlapping with pomegranate. So apply pop. Okay, then going in with Cheers and layering that on top of the orange. Hoping that doesn't take away too much orange. Okay, and then I'm taking Champagne and layering that over the yellow and a little bit over the orange as well. I love how these shimmers act like transformer shades. And they also stand alone really nicely, but you can totally transform your whole look with like champagne. So definitely recommend layering that shade over any of the other shades and just seeing what happens. Cheers is definitely a little bit more of like a pearly shimmer versus like champagne and bubbly are both kind of chunkier, more sparkly shimmers. Cheers is just a little bit softer, but it still looks really pretty on top of that orange. And I'm bringing these shimmers all the way to my brow bone. I'm not putting a lot of it on my brow bone, but just any, any that's left over on my finger, I'm just kind of tapping it up there. So I am going to mimic what's happening on the top on my lower lash line. So I am going to take a little bit of pomegranate on the Sigma pencil brush, Sigma E30. That I'm going to smudge on the lower third of my lower lash line. 
My mascara is a little smudged from the previous look because I am filming this on the same day as look number six. So just try to ignore that. Sometimes I have to film more than one look in a day and I don't want to wash my entire face, so. Then going in with OJ, and that is going to be my center shade. Then I'm going in with Sunny, and that is going to be my inner third. All right, so with that, I think I am gonna use my e.l.f. Glossy Lip Stain in Coral Cutie on the lips. No, actually that's too orange. Actually, I think I'm just gonna use my Urban Decay Plumping Shine Balm in my Dude. Something a little more sheer. Okay, I think that's good. I think a nice sheer wash of coral on the lips was the right the right way to go. By the way, the blush I'm wearing is the Koki Soft Gradient Blush in Starcrossed. Mainly focused my brush in the upper half. And that was the blush in this look and look number six. Okay, that is a really fun look. I think Nathan did a great job picking out these colors. And it's just, wow, really bright, really fun. A little bit more bold and bright than I normally would go, but still a really fun look and I had a lot of fun creating it. So that is the seventh and final look of this series. So those are my seven looks with the BH Cosmetics Mimosa palette. I had so much fun getting better acquainted with this palette this week and I just, I always come away from these one week one palette videos feeling so inspired by the palette and so amazed by how much versatility one palette can have. Even a palette like this one that kind of at first glance might look like a one trick pony because it's just a lot of pinks and corals. I was able to do like a warm brown look, I did a fully orange look, a yellow look, a more pink look, and then also some really like colorful looks so I just think this is an, an amazing little palette if you have it I hope this gave you some inspiration for looks that you can do with it and if you don't have it maybe you could shop your stash for similar shades or maybe now you have this palette on your wish list and if you do have it on your wish list I definitely do recommend it wholeheartedly I think B BH Cosmetics shadows are fantastic one of the best at the price point and I, they just never disappoint. So let me know which of the seven looks was your favorite down below. If you enjoyed watching this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you've not already. Also feel free to check out the Patreon where I have exclusive bonus content each month. And otherwise, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will talk to you very soon in my next video. Bye.